Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own VTuber avatar. Uh, this will be for a 3D model. If you want to know how to make a 2D model, I'll cover that at some point in the upcoming weeks. But for now, we're just going to stick strictly to the 3D models. Uh, this is a completely free thing to do, so anyone can pretty much make a 3D avatar. The only thing you'll need is a PC or a laptop that can run the software, which I'll show you in a second what you need to be able to run it. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to Vroid Studio. This is the program we're gonna be using to make our 3D character. And if you head over to Steam, because you can download it from Steam or their own website, you'll see here, this is the minimum requirements to run this on your PC. Uh, if you're a Mac user, that's the minimum requirements you need to be able to run it on your Mac. So go ahead and download that, and then once you have, you head over to Vroid Studio and open that up. You've got here the quality settings, so you can change this from high to default depending on what your PC is running. It might help smooth out the uh, program for you. And then you've got the language. So we'll just go and create a new character now. You're going to want to click either a male or female depending on what character you want. We'll just let this open up. And then from here you'll get this menu. So once you've got this menu up, you'll notice you've got up here basic features such as like here for file you can save and save as. Edit which gives you the option to undo. Say you want to undo your last edited option you can do so. And then you can also redo. It will do it one by one. So if you've done five different things to your character it will undo them one at a time. And then once you go from there, you've got your display, so you can show your FPS. I don't know why you need to do that. You don't need to. Uh, Vroid Hub, again, don't really need to touch that. And then you've got help, so you can go on tutorials, FAQ, you know, pretty basic stuff. So going off from there, you've got here, you can see different parts of the face. And then here you've got on this side all the different sections of the face, so the eyes, the eyelids, eye slants, everything like that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part, so for example, you can edit your character's eyes, uh, their eye slants if you wanted to do that, inner eye, you can zoom in on this by just using your middle mouse button, and if you click and hold your middle mouse button, you can rotate this character around like so. And then if you right click and hold and move your mouse, you can rotate your character. So that's pretty cool. And then if we just keep it from there, so you can just see more clearly there that the eyes are starting to move and adjust with these options. So you can change that however you want. And then let's say we did something like eye distance and we didn't like that and we wanted to put it back to what we had it before you can just go up to here where we said before with the edit and undo and just undo that so that's that and then here you've got expressions so for the face this is pretty important when you start using a face tracker because this is how your character is going to look when you make these kind of expressions so keep that in mind and then here you've got textures uh, you can change like the color and the texture of the skin for the face and for example uh, I needed the skin texture to have this face mask. So for things like that, for example, it could be quite helpful. And then, yeah, that's pretty much that for the face. Moving on from there, you've got the hair. The hair is quite difficult when you first start off with, but just practice with it and you'll get better over time. You can see here, this is the base hair they've given for this model. Uh, I can actually take that away and start from scratch if I wanted to and then what well, here you've got presets so if you had hair saved you could just click on this and then click on the preset you have saved and then import from preset and your hairstyle would come up here so that's pretty cool and then you can export your own hairstyles as well if you wanted to do that and then let's click on brush here so this is the main tool you're going to be using to edit the hair so you can see here, this is the base hair color, shade, highlights, and this here is how you can adjust that. So you can see like where the highlight positioning is going to be if you wanted it like there, and then the offset and things like that. 
And then the one underneath it here, you can change the width of the hair if you want thin strands or thickness or, you know, just adjust it however you like. Um, and then once you've got it how you want it, you can then start just doing the hair. So you can basically just click and drop and then that will start bringing out the hair like so. And uh, it, it is a bit fiddly, it takes a while to get used to it, but once you do, um, it's actually not as hard as it looks, it just takes a bit of time and I would suggest just going slowly. Okay, so as you can see here now I've finished making the hair, I just did like a rough version just to show you what it will look like once you've done all your strands. Then once you're happy with your hair you can go to your control point here. Uh, this is where you can pick like different hair strands, so say this one and say we want it to curve a different way, we can alter it to curve a different way like so. Uh, you also have retouch here so you can adjust the hair sideways, but I wouldn't really touch it because it normally ends up messing things up more than it actually helps. But you do have that option there available to you as well. And then yeah that's pretty much it, you have um, bone here, texture. Same as before, so you can change things. So let's say we want a different color. We could go for like a reddish sort of color. And then maybe, I don't know, if you want the shade color to be like a black color, you could do that. And then have like different highlights there. So it really is just down to you, but it's really cool because you can basically do what you want with this, make some really cool hairstyles. And it just takes a while to get used to. So just mess around with it and you'll do fine. Moving on from there, you've got body editor. This is the same as the face editor for the most point, so I'll just give a quick rundown. So let's say we want our legs to be longer, we can do so. Uh, leg length shorter, again, do that. Or if you want to edit certain parts, you can just do this. And then obviously finger size, for example, you can change those. And then you've got textures again. So with the textures of this, you could change like a few things. So base colors of the skin. Uh, if you have clothing, which we'll get to in a second, that's where textures I'd say become mostly important. But you can see here, you can edit like certain colors and stuff for your outfit as well or your body. So in this case, this is the body texture. And then moving on from there, you've got the clothing editor. So this is the preset they give you, the skirt. You can change this to like, say if we want a dress, we can change it to a dress and it'll give you a dress preset. Um, basically a long coat there, for example, we've got long coat. And then you can change the long coat to be like a hoodie, for example. So if we want like a hoodie, we can have a hoodie on instead. And then you can add your own designs by going to textures and just edit in the texture layout here. So we'll click on default textures. And then let's say we want to add a logo, we can do that. Or if we want to change the color, so I don't know, let's say you want a red hoodie. So we'll do that and then we'll go on here and let's change the thickness of the brush as well. So you can do that, change what type of brush you want. And then we'll start doing this. And as you can see, now this is turning into a red hoodie. So you can mess around with this, change the color of it how you please. And then let's just say we want all of this to be bright red. So we can do that. And yeah, and then you can basically just edit this. You could have like a logo on here. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. But that is the basic fundamentals of it. And you can just basically mess around with this and get the outfit of the character you want. And then also if you do buy textures, for example, you could also put these in here. Uh, so I'll also show you how to do that in a second as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so let's say we're going to go with a hoodie for our design. And we want to add a logo to it. You're going to go over to textures. And then you're going to go down to default image here and that would just give you this texture here. You're going to copy and paste this and then all you need to do is open up a software like paint. Uh, go ahead and copy and paste that in like I've done here. Now you only need this part so we're going to crop out everything else which will give you something like this. 
And then once you've done that, you can basically go ahead and make your design here um, based around the shape. So, for example, for this one, I'm going to do a Mr. Beast logo. So I've just tucked this one offline just to show you. So you'd copy and paste that there. And then if you were happy with that, you would go ahead and save. And then once you've saved it as a picture, you'll come back over onto this. Uh, right click on default image, go to import, which will pop up with your pictures. And then you just click on the picture you want of this with your design on it. And then you'll just import it. And then once you do that, you'll have something like this. So pretty cool. Uh, obviously, if you are using someone else's logo, or if someone's designed a logo for you, just make sure that you have permission to use that design. Obviously, I'm not selling this or anything, so this is just for demonstration purposes. But if you were making outfits for VTubers to wear and you wanted to sell those, which you can, I'll show you afterwards. Um, just make sure you own the rights to everything, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. And then obviously, if you wanted to do, say, shoes. Uh, so let's go down to our shoes here. Uh, as you can see when it loads up, there we go. The texture is different, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so you'll have to have designs fit around this texture and so forth. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the idea now. So now we'll just go over to the general editor. Okay, so we've almost finished the video now. Uh, just a couple more things to show you. So on general editor, you'll mainly use this for just shading purposes. So you can like change the shading area of the hair. Uh, the eyes, the face, everything like that. That's mostly what you're going to use that for. You don't really need to touch anything else, but you can do so you can have like eye alignment there and things like that. Subtle changes. And then afterwards, you'll come over to camera slash exporter where you come up with this menu. Uh, so basically here, for example, you've got expressions background so you can change the background to see how it's going to look with different backgrounds pose and animation so you can test out different animations for your character see how that looks so pretty cool and then after that you've got lighting again so you can change the lighting of your character just to see how it would look wind is pretty cool on certain designs for outfits and things like that because you can see how the hair will move and so forth and then post processing, don't really need to touch this, but you can do so you can add like bloom effects and so forth. Uh, things like that. And motion blur if you want it. And then after you're done and you've made your character and you're happy with it, you'll go over to export here. Click on export and it will come up with this. Uh, all you need to do is just put in uh, the name of your character and who made it, so yourself in this case. And then here, if you were making virtual av uh, VTuber avatars for people, you could um, change things here. So give them rights for commercial use, uh, what it's allowed to be used for, what it's not allowed to be used for, if they can resell it, things like that. And then once you've exported that, it will become a VRM file, which is exactly what you need for like free teen and other softwares where you can move your character. And I'll be showing you that next week, basically how to bring the character you've created today to life. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the rundown of how to use Vroid and how to make your own 3D character. A couple more things to quickly add on. Uh, you've got this site here called Booth. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So this is where people put up like designs they've made for like hair and outfits and so forth that you can purchase. So if we scroll down here and let's say we wanted this. Uh, you could click on this and then once it loads up, there we go. Uh, just go ahead and translate that to English. Perfect. So here it will tell you what it is uh, further down how to add it on. So it's saying here to add it as a texture, skin texture, see. And then how to use, uh, so it will tell you here more information and what it can be used for. And then some of them will have like terms of service agreements. So 
Some of them will say you can only use it for certain things like personal use or you can only use it for, um, you know, if you say give them a shout out, things like that. Right holder here to contact for uh, right holders and things like that. So yeah, uh, some will say you can't use their stuff at all, not even for personal use and others will say you can do whatever you want with it. So just keep that in mind basically and make sure you check this description and then if you want to know uh, how much this is just go over onto Google and type in like 300 JPY into uh, USD that will tell you there how much that is in dollars same again for Great British Pounds so £1.99 really cheap and all you got to do is just make an account and buy it and then you can download the skins that you've purchased afterwards from the seller. Uh, the last thing I will add is if you go over to Fiverr, if you really don't want to make your own character and you want to just go down the purchase route, uh, you can go on Fiverr, type in 3D or 2D characters, and you can pay people basically to make your character for you. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And say like if I wanted this one, click on it. So they would make the character for you, show you in the description there, but obviously it's very expensive, so for the most part I would recommend trying to make your own. But if you, you know, really just want to purchase the character and get straight into it, you can contact a Fiverr seller and make sure they're happy with the gig. And then they'll contact, uh, they'll make that for you basically then and you're good to go. Um, just check as well in the description like some of them will say like you can use it for commercial purposes and so forth yet again uh, and others will say you can't so just keep that in mind but that's basically going to bring us to the end of the tutorial so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to leave a like because um, that really helps and just share this with other people so you know helps out the video a little bit but thanks for watching and i will see you all next week where we discuss how to bring the character to life till then